This is going to be a brief overview of the history of cells and cell theory. Robert Hooke was an English philosopher, architect, and polymath. That means he studied many areas and drew from several fields of knowledge. He lived from 1635 to 1703 and was very well known for his many significant observations. Around 1660, he began research studying various things through microscopes and telescopes. In 1665, he published a book called Micrographia on the subject. It contains many significant and notable things, but we are going to focus on his plant studies. He was the first person to note that a piece of cork he was observing was made up of small compartments. He called them cells from the Latin cella, meaning room. Antony van Leeuwenhoek was a Dutch tradesman and scientist that lived from 1632 to 1723. He is best known for his work to improve the microscope and began studying microbial life in the 1670s. He was the first to see and describe single-celled organisms. He called them animacules, from the Latin animalculum, meaning tiny animals. We now refer to what Leeuwenhoek saw as unicellular organisms. Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann are credited with the creation of cell theory. Schleiden was a botanist that studied plant structure. He mentioned to Schwann that he had observed new cells being created from the nuclei of an old cell. Schwann recalled seeing something similar in animal cells he had studied previously. They recognized the importance of this conclusion, and together they co-founded cell theory in 1839. Cell theory describes what we know to be true about cells. It is broken down into three main tenets. First, all living things are made up of cells. Second, cells are the basic unit of life. And third, cells can arise only from other cells. Time to stop and check your notes. These are the things you'll need to know to move forward with your lesson. Who is Robert Hooke? He was the first person to recognize cells through a microscope. Who is Antony van Leeuwenhoek? He was the first person to see single-celled organisms through a microscope. Who are Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann? They are the co-founders of cell theory. When was cell theory created? 1839. What are the three principles of cell theory? One, all living things are made up of cells. Two, cells are the basic unit of life. Three, cells can only arise from cells. You're ready to head to your next lesson.